gang, 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 squad, 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 what's up, what's up, what's up? So these are the things we're going to need for this. Most of the things I just got from the hair store, beauty supply store. Um, I'm not going to be talking the whole video, but some parts that need explaining I'm going to be talking on so start off by brushing your eyebrows always and putting your hair up so that makeup does not get in your hair you're gonna be Saudi um, on the beginning of the brow I'm gonna First, I'm going to start by doing the beginning of both of my brows and not touching the tail of the brows. This part that I'm doing, please do not draw hard because you do not want to go outside looking like you have two bricks on your face. So, you know, once you draw the line on the bottom, it's not really hard to just brush the product up and, you know, it's just a light amount of product getting moved up so that it looks nice and blended. Same thing on this eyebrow. So right here I messed up, but I'm gonna fix it with the concealer later. When you do the top of your eyebrows, always start off by brushing the hairs in a downward motion so that you can, you know, actually see where your natural eyebrow line meets. Same thing with this eyebrow. It doesn't matter if your line isn't perfectly straight because when you fix it with the concealer, it will help we'll fix it and make it straight we're still doing light strokes people you can see I'm not gonna leave this empty right here in the beginning of the eyebrow make sure you fill that in lightly and blend it same over here want to make your lines a little bit more bold go ahead do you shorty you literally need this much you do not need that much this stuff goes a long way but anyways you brush your hairs up before you start drawing it in I made a mistake but don't feel like fixing it because I'm almost done editing so follow your natural brow line and just fill in your eyebrow for top and the bottom just make sure you move the hairs before you draw the lines to fill in I don't know if it looks like I'm not doing light strokes but these are just light strokes going in the direction of my natural hairs and then you brush it through to blend it and then we're going to do the same thing on the other eyebrow the trick with eyebrows is to just always Use a spoolie and brush through your eyebrow hairs after you um, apply product, after every use. Like, so if I do my eyebrow and I need more product, I'm gonna brush it first and then get more product and then continue. And if I need more, I'm gonna brush it first, get more product and then continue. You don't just pack on product without spreading it. It's like putting peanut butter and jelly on bread without spreading it. So I'm going to take the excess product and do light strokes in the beginning of the eyebrow and then blend it just because this product's a little darker. Okay, I slowed this clip down to show you that you could go out like this, but I'd rather conceal. Okay, we're going to start off by putting this on our hand and the reason for this 
is because Pro Concealer is really thick and you want to warm it up on your hand by making it flat and you know kind of making it a little runny so it's easier to apply but you only need to do that for about 20 seconds and just be really considerate on the bottom part of the eyebrow and the top but mostly the bottom because you're going to use the lighter concealer for the bottom and the darker concealer for the top if you conceal the top So on the bottom line, I'm such a perfectionist, it has to be perfect. So I'm just you're just gonna keep seeing me go back and fix things and you know before I go to the next eyebrow. And on this part I messed up. I slowed it down to show you guys I messed up there and there, but we're gonna fix this instead of editing it out, I'm gonna use it as a teaching experience. So you're gonna use the pencil, fill in a little bit lightly, take that brush right there you know do not put extra product on it and then just boom and it's fixed you do not have to start over your whole eyebrow if you mess up a little bit so you're just gonna do the same thing to the bottom of the next eyebrow I'm still learning myself, so just make sure you take your time. Like, makeup is an art. It's not, you know, just something you just do. It's, you have to know how to do it. You have to learn. It's not something you just do. So just make sure you're brushing through those eyebrows 24 seven and blending them. The reason I'm pulling the product down is because you do not want the product to dry and you end up with harsh lines and then you know just gonna moisten up that beauty blender and blend out those you know little harsh lines so that they do not appear if you're in public or something just blend them out now most people usually go out like this like just concealing the bottom of their eyebrows and it that's perfectly fine like that's cute it's natural but I'm gonna do the top too that's just the kind of person I am. So I'm gonna take this light and mix it with the dark because it is getting cold and I'm getting lighter. So I am no longer that shade. Let it warm up for about 20 seconds. And proceed to the top. At this point, I noticed I had some flyaways, so I just clipped them before I went ahead and did the top. Oh, the trick to top eyebrow this is to just be precise and quick use the bottom edge of the brush to line with the top edge of your eyebrow and just you know trust yourself you know if you do not like them thick you can always make them thinner from the top that's why I love doing the top and it's so easy and make sure you pull up pull the product up so that you do not get harsh lines and it's going to be hard to blend if there's dry harsh lines of concealer on top of your eyebrows so that's why I'm doing that pulling the product up guys do me a favor never use a dry beauty blender I don't care if you have to use water water works fine I'm just using this because I have really oily skin especially in like the fall time so also never use a super wet beauty blender it has to be damp guys damp beauty blenders only also, you can see that I'm pulling the product up. You want to do that so that it can blend into your natural skin and you won't be able to tell that it's concealer. Then you're going to spray the setting spray and let it dry. And that's it, guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share my video and comment other tutorials you want me to do.